Northumberland, North East England. Home to our final challenger. I'm on my way to meet a science fiction fan who's about to attempt to fulfil a boyhood dream to build his very own robot. And now, like Dr Frankenstein, it's about to bring it alive. This is Stuart. Artistic blacksmith. Sci-fi geek. <laughs> husband and one-of-a-kind dad. <laughs> At heart, I think I'm just still a big kid. And I'm still excited by all the things that excite my children. <laughs> I love to let my imagination have some fun and to be able to realise and make in real life the things I've imagined in my head. So, for his challenge, sci-fi fan Stuart is planning to build a robot. A very large robot. It's going to be terrific. But we will be the only people that's got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a bit of a dream come true because I had this idea in my head for a long, long time. It's without a doubt the most challenging build I've ever attempted. I've got one like that for icing cakes. That's exactly that's it. <laughs> He's a bit like a womble. He takes ordinary things like a dustbin and makes them into something that's useful. This might become in handy one day. It's got a nice dial on it. This is going to be a big lamp. My children's faith in me is about 97%. Dad, we're counting on you, so you better do it. My faith in me is 100%. I mean that. Hello. Hello. Stuart. That's it. Come on in. It's a big challenge, so I want a quick rummage through his garage to see what he's made before. Wow. Whoa. Is that the tank? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Stuart's converted a 15 horsepower ride on mower into a tank for his two sons. I have driven it and it's very fun to drive. A nice bit of give when you jump on it. <laughs> it? Springs all come from old trampolines. It's proper yeah, bouncy. it's all proper, proper bouncy, so you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is <gasps> my jetpack. It's so cool. This is the dream. Could you hold a child like. <laughs> Have a nice day at school, kids. <laughs> so, onto the robot Stuart plans to build. Moving arms with a colossal metal claw and weaponized foam dart artillery. It's a beast. This build will be all about what's known as degrees of freedom. The number of joints and how they're linked together will provide an increasing variety of movements. And let's not forget how it's all powered. Too big to build at home, it's off to Stuart's workshop to see how far he's got with just seven weeks to go. Here we are then, the forge. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is where all the magic goes on. Where's the robot? <laughs> right, it's uh, it's more of a robot of the mind at the moment, okay. but I have certain pieces of it, and a big bit of it is right at your feet there. Oh, OK. Um... My plans are loose at best. <laughs> and at worst, non-existent. If I'm really honest, I'm a little bit alarmed with that we're at week three, and this is how far we've got. Can you do this build, Stuart? Yeah. It's going to be fine, Sarah. <laughs> had such a laugh with Stuart. He's obviously got the skill to do this robot. He's definitely got the passion. But given that we're in week three already, and there's not really much of a... Well, there's no robot built. There's just some shoulders. So has he got enough time? That's my main concern.